in this video we are going to discuss about the introduction of Mendeley what is Mendeley why it is required in a research and how we can use Mendeley to organize our research output research articles and research writings so it is very important to understand before we start discussion that what is Mendeley so I am going to let you know in detail that what is Mendeley and what else we can do with the help of Mendeley friends we are all aware that nowadays we write many research articles thesis and many research writings where we use different references and we cite in our research output so what happens actually when we cite these references in our research output we also create bibliography and when we do it manually it takes lot of time to organize in a systematic way and when we are asked to organize these references as per some style it becomes more difficult to organize because we have to follow the same style rule which we have been asked to follow. Mendeley is a reference management tool which helps in organization or in organizing these citations and references in a very systematic way and also saves lot of time. So we are going to discuss in this video the same. So let me start with the overview what is Mendeley a Mendeley is a reference management tool which helps to organize the documents and references it also helps to collaborate by joining or creating group with other the intellectuals throughout the world it also helps in discovering the recommendation, the reports. It helps to keep yourself up to date with lot of learning happening around the world. And more important, it helps to store your data in a very secure environment which you can cite and share with other friends. Basically, a Mendeley is a free software with some restriction. There is a limitation of size that we will be talking in detail. It is an academic software which is available for different platforms like Window. It can be also used on Linux. It can also be used on Mac. It supports the different browsers like Mozilla, Chrome, Safari, Opera, whatever the browser you are using. It supports Internet Explorer and the desktop application which you run in your computer connects with your web library. So, whatever documents you have in your web library it is synchronized with the help of desktop application and it provides you the stored documents in a very quick time and very in very systematic way so in this video we are going to talk how the documents can be organized in a library means Mendeley library how we can set up the library how we can enter the note in one stored document suppose it is in a PDF document how we can annotate and how we can see it 
in the viewer. How we can join and create group to share our references with other intellectuals and other researchers recommendation and what are the major impacts we are going to discuss in this video. So when you start Mendeley first thing that you have to download the software the Mendeley from the respective website that is www.mendeley.com you can browse it through Google or any search engine it will provide you the link I will also be discussing in the next video how to register and uh, this is completely free it takes few seconds to register and start the work so once you download you need to first register yourself with your name and account and password which will allow you enable you next time to log in and start the work so we are going to talk now how to set up a library in Mendeley. So once you log in in the Mendeley desktop after installation I will be talking about the Mendeley desktop installation in the next video. Your screen will look like and it is divided mainly in three pane. You can see the left side one pane in the middle side the second pane and the right side this is the third pane so basically the left hand pane is the means overview of your the library and uh, different folders the middle one describes all documents which have been added or read or you have put in favorites or you have uh, means unsorted them so all these will be displayed here and uh, at the right side whenever you select any document it will show the metadata information of that particular document which you can edit and we can you can modify it there are so many things which can be done at the right side pane and uh, you can notice here that here you can you can change the type also of the document whether it is report or article or book whatever so we will be talking in detail later now the question is that as I mentioned in the previous slide that the Mendeley is available on desktop also and web also so you can directly log in with your web edition web which is uh, uh, means on uh, uh, server and you can connect through browser so when you log in the, there also you will be getting the same look as you have been getting in the desktop so let, let, let us see in the next uh, slide now the question is how you can add the document to your library so this is the the desktop it means uh, overview and uh, here you can see that there are some options given so in this the first one is the add file which helps you to add the file to your from your computer to your library and the second option is that you can create your own folder in this library and you can add multiple document you can select the watch folder the benefit of this watch folder is that whenever any document is added to your local computer folder it automatically collects the information collects the file and keep in your library and also you can enter the document manually so these are the options through which you can add the document to your library the another option is that import you can import through different format from another reference manager to your library like bibtex in note research information system or Jotero so we'll be means talking about uh, this later 
and you can also add references manually uh, through add enter manually there these are the options to add the document let us see the document details lookup in whenever we add any document to Mendeley library it collects the metadata information and also display when you select the particular document at the right pane and it will look like this where you can see that the detail of the document is given in the descriptive way this information gives you the meta bibliographical information about the document which you have added to your library and you can modify this document detail lookup suppose something which is not fetched automatically you can add it manually here which will help you to fetch the document easily through different options of searching you can also find new research in the Mendeley like suppose you are searching for any paper which is not available in your library so there are two options you can directly use the web importer of Mendeley or you can use the Mendeley research catalog in order to fetch the your research requirement or document so to add the importer only you need to go and just drag it to your bookmark and it will I'll show you manually how to do so suppose you have imported means you have searched the document and now you want to fetch those documents so you can do through web importer so we will see how we can do this and likewise it, it can also help you to connect to the Scopus and Science Direct and there if you do any search you can directly import the uh, information to your Mendeley library you can also synchronize as I mentioned in the previous slide that you can easily synchronize your data whatever you have kept online you can get in your desktop so the benefit will be that suppose you are outside you are going moving traveling anywhere you need not to depend on your desktop directly you can go to all web uh, browser you open it log in with your Mendeley login ID and password and connect it so you will get all documents in your library now we are going to talk about how to manage the library with the help of Mendeley as I mentioned that you can add the document through different methods so you can see here the all documents it is categorized into four recently added then recently read fav uh, favorites and needs review so you can organize your document using these option which will help you to identify or fetch the document easily in the middle pane you can see that there are some options like actions which will help you to order your references there is a small green button which marks the entries read or unread if it is green so this green button small green button will help you to identify whether it is read or unread and below that there is a PDF icon which helps you to read the full text with the PDF, PDF reader and this is the star which marks in the favorite as a favorite item and it will help you to bring the document quickly which have been marked all together create and use folder 
gives you an opportunity to organize your content in a systematic way and as per your requirement so like there are some ready made folder ready ref, ready folder available like unsorted this will help you the references which is which are not added to folder will appear in unsorted and these are the created folder which you have created and you have added the document and below that there is an option of creating new folder so this will help you to create new folder searching the document is also possible in Mendeley which will allow you to do searching there are different ways through which you can search the first is that you can directly go to the folder and it will show all the listed documents in that particular folder the second option is that you can use the search pane and enter the keyword it will fetch all the document from your library and the third is that it will display all the listed item in your second pane the middle pane and you can choose accordingly so these are the options for searching the document from your library the searching of your document can be done with the tags which is very very powerful in Mendeley what happens when you import or you just save any document to your library in Mendeley it collects the metadata information at the right pane and it also shows some tags suppose there is some relevant tags which you are looking for is not available so in that case you can add the tag to that particular document manually which will be automatically listed at the first pane and if you click on that particular tag it will show all the documents wherever it finds the particular tag this is very very important and unique feature in Mendeley Mendeley also helps you to organize the file you can see here that it can help you to sort into subfolder it can help you to rename the document file like it is journal it can help you to organize the file name author wise year wise title wise so all these are a very very important when we do the searching because if the files are not organized properly it will take your lot of time to get the document from library the another very important feature in Mendeley that it checks for the duplicate also because what happens when you keep adding the document your library becomes very huge and in that case it is very difficult to identify that whether I have already added this document to my library or not so in that case when you import the document or add the document to your library it automatically checks for the duplication and it if it is find the duplicate entry it will show you that duplicate here and you can take the action accordingly Mendeley helps to read your document in the uh, PDF viewer if it is available in your library full text and it shows the metadata information and also the full text in the library You can also annotate and highlight the particular content wherever you feel that you need to write the detail. Mendeley allows to install the citation plugin and these plugins are available on Mendeley website which you can install if you are using the MS Word or if you are using the LibreOffice both the plugins you can install and what it can do that it, it will help you to cite the reference wherever you want to cite in your article easily you can insert your bibliography
inserting bibliography will save your lot of time because if you have cited 30, 40, 100 citation in your paper, in that case creating bibliography and arranging them as per any particular citation style will take your lot of time. So to avoid that you can use Mendeley and you can create the bibliography. The citation styles, there are more than 6000 citation style which you can search in Mendeley and choose accordingly to create the bibliogra bibliography as per the the cons means a particular citation style which you are looking for. The another very important feature of Mendeley is that you can create the group and in that group you can choose whether you want to make it private or you want to make it public. So the benefit of creating private and public that you can have the restriction on the created group. You can also do the literature, literature searching in Mendeley and we can download it and we can save it in uh, Mendeley library and if it is saved it will also show the download icon which will help you to download the document save new research to your library with one click it helps you suppose you have done the literature searching so with one click you can save the particular research to your library you can also search the catalog online directly you can go and select the papers and you can do the searching and you can get information from there also you can generate the statistics of your the added paper or added document to your library it it helps to so when when you are uh, means viewing a paper in a particular uh, group so it helps you to to generate the statistics drawn from mendeley and you can see the number of people who have read the paper as per their discipline background so you can see all the academic status of reader and their country or their origin through statistics Mendeley helps or is a very powerful tool that allows the researcher to quickly and easily understand how their publications are being referred or read or shared cited so it generates the statistics and shows you in very descriptive way you can find the number of citation you can see the h index you can see the number of publication and also views and how many readers have viewed the document and very important that you can view to your publication in science direct and add the number of uh, means the performance timeline also viewed this month or citation this month one very common question comes in mind uh, when we start using Mendeley that if I'm creating my library with Mendeley because the data is, is stored somewhere else so my data is secured or not so here it is important to understand that whatever data we save in Mendeley it is stored in a very secured environment so we don't have to think about that it is very secure you only you ensure that you need to keep your ID and password secretly and do not share with anyone and on Mendeley site if you go you can get lot of resources available there suppose if you are looking for desktop web or Android or citation plugin group private group the different editor CSL editor so there are resources available and you can directly go to the online at uh, http colon double slash resources dot com and you'll get plenty of resources there also provide your feedback 
that Mendeley feedback is available. You can log in means directly go to the page and you can add your feedback. You can get Mendeley support online. You can browse http colon double slash support dot and you can get many information from there. So I hope we have uh, discussed a lot about the Mendeley and uh, what can be done with the help of Mendeley in, or in order to organize our reference and uh, the other very important work. So in descriptive way we are going to see in the next video that how to work with Mendlo, Mendeley. So thanks for watching this video. Hope I have been able to make you understand that the concept of Mendeley and its different use in our research uh, work. So thanks for watching once again this video.